Welcome to the Equity Team Podcast, where we provide Sedona, Arizona real estate insight to help you thrive during your next real estate transaction. Hello, I'm Chad McMahon with the Equity Team Arizona, and I'm going to do a very quick recording here on, and this is, comes up all the time for us, why are the grand majority of our clients and of my clients earning 20% to 60% more annual revenue? than AirDNA estimations. So why does that happen? Um, Because this comes up all the time where clients, you know, before we purchase, they say, well, Chad, AirDNA says that the gross annual revenue should be $40,000. And then I analyze the property and conservatively, I estimate it's actually gonna be 60,000 or $70,000. Or they look at another property that's maybe in Sedona and they say, well, you know, AirDNA is only showing $80,000 for this property, Chad. And then I say, well, AirDNA is wrong. (laughs) It's actually going to be $120,000 or $100,000, whatever the number may be. And here's why it's going to be that. And here's how we're going to get it there. So here's the three, the top three list of why there's such a discrepancy between AirDNA estimated revenue numbers and what our clients are actually getting. So the first thing is that AirDNA, it pulls from Airbnb and VRBO, that's it. So it doesn't pull from any other sources. So all direct bookings are not counted on their data. And also if there are any, for example, with a luxury property, you might use additional luxury booking websites and resources. That data is not gonna show within AirDNA. Now that's not something I can claim any credit for. That's just AirDNA is missing that data, but that only represents about five to 10% of the discrepancy. So here's the rest. So number two is that AirDNA uses average data. So they use the the high performers and they use the, (laughs) they use the low performers and they average it all together. And then they estimate what your revenue is gonna be. And that brings us to our third thing, which is that our clients always perform in the top five or 10% of the market. Our clients, uh, as long as they they follow our directions and stick to our formula for what works, they are crushing it. And they are the top performers in Airbnb and VRBO and all of this. So when you're comparing average to the top five or 10%, there's gonna be a big discrepancy. And that's the number one cause for that discrepancy of 20% to 60% difference between AirDNA estimated revenue and what our clients actually get. And the thing is that those other people that own short-term rentals, whether it's in Sedona or Cottonwood or Clarkdale or Cornville or another market area, they don't have the benefit of only doing this all the time like we do. So we have that formula nailed. We know what it is that tenants want. And when people log on, to Airbnb or VRBO or some other site, and they're looking at these properties, we know it needs to happen in order to get those people to click on your property and book it. And that's it. We are able to crack the marketing so that that people are clicking on it and so that they're booking it. So we, we nailed the formula and our clients are dominating, dominating the market. Uh, so that being said, uh, if you have other questions, if there are other things that you would like to know about, please reach out. Happy to produce additional videos to answer questions and address these questions and confusion that many of you are probably feeling. So reach out anytime. Good luck. Thanks for tuning in to the Equity Team Podcast. To speak with one of our top agents, visit us at owninaz.com. That's O W N I N az.com or call us at 928-323-0031.